So how old were you when you discovered, you no know, rap? You, you're like, I want to do this. You know, every time she go into that rap stuff, you know, I get upset because she's not ready for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But let me ask that question. How, you know... <laughs> How was it? You know, I know you was with Dr. Rock, Liam, because I remember, man, I hate to go to work. Why do I hate to go to work? Why do I have to go to work? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. How was it growing up in West Dallas? When I hear about West Dallas, even up to today, I hear about how bad it is. So was it that way when you were growing up? I mean... Every neighborhood is pretty much the same. You know? Okay. It, Wasn't no different from that in Oak Cliff. I mean, Oak Cliff is Oak Cliff. West Dallas is West Dallas. The mm -hmm. Grove is the Grove. It's all just, you know, it's, it's Dallas. It's mm -hmm. where we at. And, okay. And West Dallas has good parts and it's bad parts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Like, like every other. Yeah. You know, uh, that's something we all, we still working on together. And you were raised with your mom and dad? Uh, I was raised with uh, my grandmother. Your grandmother? Yeah. Okay, so you're spoiled brat then growing up. No. Cause you know, grandmas no. always spoil them grandkids. Not, not this one. Not this one. No, she from West Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an only child? Uh, No, I'm the youngest. Baby boy? Yeah. Okay, so, and you weren't spoiled really? Well, I was spoiled in the house when I was with my mother and father, but when I was Oh, with, okay, but grandma didn't play that. Not at all. <laughs> so why didn't why were you living with grandma and not mom and dad? Um, you know that's that's just uh, you know uh, uh, back then it's just that's just how it was. Kinda, you know, if it, it's just uh, how relationships go between men and women. Okay, when it's a struggle between them, it's it's always the child is kind of okay. I mean, so my grandmother was she just wanted me over there. Okay, that's good. It gave you a better stable household and upbringing and so forth. Yeah. So how old were you when you discovered, you no know, rap? You, you're like, I want to do this. You know, every time she go into that rap stuff, you know, I get upset because she's not ready for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But let me ask that question. How, you know, <laughs> how was it? You know, I know you was with Dr. Rogliam because I remember, man, I hate to go to work. How do I hate to go to work? Why do I have to go to work? You know, you don't remember that song? You yeah. might have, you remember that, don't you? Uh, yeah. It was a part like when you get up in the morning, you would hear this song, and they it was it was jamming too a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but how was it? Was it the Feli Fresh crew? Yeah, it was how, the Feli Fresh. How, how was that, man? Like like how did y'all even get that group together that early on when music really wasn't just big, big in Dallas? How old were you at that time? I was uh, 16, going on 17, and uh, me and this guy from West Dallas. Uh, we made commercials on a local television channel. I think it was Channel 21. Mm -hmm. We used to make these commercials for their lineup. They eating in rock salt on TV. And he's like, wow, you guys are good. We should make a group. And uh, we was like, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, you get, in the, you get in the party free after that. So, <laughs> So let's do it. <laughs> and back then, groups were more prevalent. You saw groups everywhere, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, what well, Dallas was just budding back then, right. right? It was, you know, rap wasn't born yet. Basically. That's what I was yeah. wondering. Yeah. So y'all, you can almost say y'all were like the fathers of rap, right? For Dallas. Well, yeah, kind of. Because if you said that nobody else, nobody else in Dallas was doing it before y'all? Yeah. Who? I mean, because we was here yeah. when it started. When you started, yeah. right. It used to be just dancing. Uh, and so pop locking and all that was the big thing. Mm -hmm. And then rap came. I remember going to Glendale with my guys. It was it was called the Rockets. You mm -hmm. know? That's Fresh K was in the Rockets. And uh, Gerald in the box heads was out, there, was out there in Oak Cliff. And that's what it was all about that back then. If you was the dancer. you. But as hip hop started to progress, um, the guy, the, the guy with the slick, you know, rhymes used to start getting all the, the attention. All right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.